Hey, what's up, guys? This is a question I received in regards to Fat Builder Pro R's EQ thingies here. What is the decay rate EQ and what is the post EQ? So the post EQ is essentially an EQ that occurs after the reverb. So I'm going to bring my mix down. And uh, what we can do is we can roll off the high end of the uh, decay or we can accentuate it get that brighter kind of decay sound going on or accentuate the low end which uh, you know this is just a good way to kind of design a room essentially uh, but where the rear the, the rear the real kind of bread and butter uh, in Fat Builder Pro R is the decay rate EQ the decay is based on frequency so you can have a longer decay rate for the high frequencies or you can have a shorter decay uh, rate for the higher frequencies, which would kind of simulate a hall with a lot of uh, diffusion or absorption in it. And uh, yeah, it's just the relationship between these two. Well, you'll be able to carve out your sound, let alone, you know, digging into all these options up here. And uh, yeah, a good example would be like a combed filter space. So like there's comb filtering in certain rooms at certain frequencies, which this can uh, emulate. Right. And uh, yeah, it's just uh, it's fun to go about. So one thing to quickly point out about this is the decay rate is nulled on these frequencies right just like in a real room because if you have a bunch of interference the the uh the decay rate will be just kind of canceled out at these frequencies anyway uh that's my quick little rundown of that hope you enjoyed take care and have a good one